Hello everyone. Welcome to my craft around the clock segment. It's down on down on the farm week this week. And we're going to be painting this cute little pig. We're going to give it a go and we're going to give it a whirl and see how that works. It's getting set up here. All right. Hello Sharon. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Tracy. All right, so we're not gonna waste too much time because we're gonna see how far I get on this little pig. But it's down on the farm week at Craft Around the Clock. I just wanna do all the business stuff first. And um, I wanna let you know that if you're watching from my business page and you don't know what Craft Around the Clock is, it's a group that I belong to um that miss tracy campbell runs and it is an amazing crafting group and if you are not a part of that group please be sure to pop over there the link is at the top of this post and you can go over there and watch free crafting all week long every day and that's part of the business i wanted to get out of the way i've also pinned a little post um at on this the comment section and that is for signups for my scarecrow color me autumn paint event that i have going on um it's ten dollars canadian so that works out to about seven uh us so if you want to come and join us for that three-day event to paint this porch leaner you can do that so i've pinned that post down at the bottom craft around the clock uh link is at the top and let's just get started on our little piggy all right so how is everybody doing let me see who's all here cassie jennifer well we're gonna see how we do with this little pig so i did base coat him a little bit to save some time um, because that takes a bit of time so i thought i'll just get that part out of the way so i've based him with a couple different shades of pink and let's just get going okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shading with a little bit of gray on this guy so we can actually, you know what I'm going to do first? He's kind of leaning over a fence here. So I think I'm going to do that first so we know where he's at. Let's just do that first. So I'm just going to grab some white and a little bit of gray. Hi, Dub. Well, we're going to attempt this little piglet. He's pretty darn cute, so I hope I can do him some justice. So I'm just going to dip into a little bit of gray and a little bit of white, and I'm just going to put that on my brush and just kind of work that in. And all I want to do is I'm going to kind of wiggle that and just pull that down. So, and I might go over my pig a little bit, but that's okay. We can fix him up after. I just want to get that fence kind of in place. And I just want the illusion of a fence there. Hi, Yuna. We'll just get this kind of in place there. Just so we know that he, what he's leaning over. Because he kind of looks like he's just sitting out in space there. So I'm happy to be doing this segment this today. Because farm stuff is my jam. I love it. I'm... I didn't grow up on a farm, but I love all things farmhouse. So all things vintage farmhouse, you know, all of those things. So I was pretty excited to do this segment today. I'm going to grab a little bit of black in there too. Alrighty. Let's get a little black going on there. So I'm just going to pull a little bit of that black in there as well just to make it look like it's fence boards and I may have to go over this again because this little surface that I'm painting on is just a little chalkboard and it's kind of, and I got this at the dollar store but it's kind of shiny so the first coat of paint kind of um I don't know it's it just needs to get that little bit of tooth on there first hi Pat anyone knows what that term means if you're a painter you know what that means it needs to have a little bit of tooth for the paint to grab so I'm just going to lay this down and I, like I said I'll probably go over this again 
after it dries but we just want to get that first little bit down there and then we'll start working on our little piglet so now he looks like he's leaning over his fence there like that hi Gretchen so is everybody watching from the craft around the clock group today or are you watching from my business page let me know where you're watching from Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to grab a little bit of gray, a little bit of slate gray, and I'm just going to start shading a bit of my piglet here. From my page, business page, are you all... Um, Hi, Tracy. Um, are you all a part of the Craft Around the Clock group? If you're not, please be sure to go over there and pop in there and like that page or follow that page. I guess it's follow now, isn't it? Follow now. I'm just kind of shading around the outside of my pig a little bit here. I'm going to turn this a bit from the Craft Around the Clock group. Nice. So I'm just trying to define some of these little areas here. And we'll come across here. I'm hoping this little guy turns out because he's pretty, pretty darn cute. So. First time watching? Well, welcome, Lanny. Is it Lonnie or Lanny? Is it an O sound or an A sound? I always feel bad if I don't say people's names correctly. And I'm going to go around his nose a little bit, too. Now, I did leave a little space and let some of that black background show through when I base coated this, just to give it a little extra something. And I always feel bad about spinning my project, but sometimes it's easier for me to reach when I turn it. And we'll bring some here down around his eyes. And I'm going to introduce a little bit of black into that gray now, too. A sound. Lanny. Okay. Laney. Laney. Like that? Oh, I hope that's right. <laughs> it's like a guessing game. Everybody can hear me okay. I have uh, my mic on, so I was had a little trouble getting it to hook up. So I'm hoping that everything's good. It might, you must be able to hear me okay. You're replying to my comments. Good morning, Julia. I'm going to bring some of that darker, a little too much water there. I'm going to bring some of that darker shade around here just to define where his face meets his leg. And I've often said, I don't know, you guys, if you've watched me before, the shading part is kind of what brings your whole painting to life. And it's my favorite part. Thank you, Pat, for letting me know that. Bring some of that darker stuff up in there. So now you can see it's starting to take a little shape there. 
I think I'll bring some of that darker stuff. He's got a little flipped over ear here. All right, so we have kind of this basic shape plotted out there. And I'm going to put a little bit of that darker stuff around his nose as well. And then we're going to start blending in a few more details into his face. Face and ears, I should say. Gotta watch my time because I always get carried away with myself. All right. So the center of his ears, I'm gonna use a little bit of a darker pink like I used for his nose. And we're going to blend some of that in there. Just grab my round brush. Now this pig isn't going to be uh, perfect. I want him to just kind of be a little bit, a little bit, I don't know, rustic, if you want to say. I didn't want it to be like a pristine painting. So I'm going to be messing around with this a little bit. And you'll kind of see what I mean in the way that I'm going to be a little bit looser with my blending and painting. And we're going to hope that it works out. I'm going to mix a little bit of that gray in there and we'll bring some of that gray down that edge. And I'm just blending that in. Some down here. So this is what I'm kind of meaning when I say I'm just being a little bit loose with this um, painting because Normally I'm a little bit more particular with my shading and all that kind of stuff, but I kind of wanted to just be a little more loose because when you paint animals, you either have to do them precisely, like lifelike, or in my opinion anyway, or um, be a little bit loose with them and uh, give the illusion of what their features are. So we're kind of going to go for that with the illusion of where their features are. This isn't a still life painting by any means, but hopefully he looks good when we're done. I'm just blending in a bit of that gray just around that center area, just so we can see where it's at. Yeah, he's cute over the fence, isn't he? So I'm just kind of blending back and forth with my pink and my gray. And then I'm going to introduce a little bit of white in there. And kind of just blend some of that in there as a little highlight. Also going to 
do a little highlight up here on this little bent over piece. And a little bit of gray just on that bottom edge. Bring in a little pink and we'll just blend all that in. All right. So his ears have taken shape a little bit there. Everybody's just watching so intently. Oh, thank you, Pat. <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of going to do the same thing with his body down here. I'm going to grab a little pink and a little white. And I'm just going to blend that in there. Just trying to get some of the wet paint on here so I can blend a little bit. And we'll give a little highlight on his elbow there. Same over here on this arm, arm, leg. <laughs> it's a leg, not an arm. I'm just adding a bit more of that pink just so I can blend my white in there. And it's kind of fun just to be loose with your painting like this sometimes instead of trying to be so perfect with it. It's kind of relaxing just to mess around with it a little bit like that. I'm going to grab a little bit of white here on my brush and I'm going to just put a little white highlight up here on his ear. Maybe bring some down on this side. So far so good. Okay. So I'm going to grab my shader again because we have to put some little wrinkles here on his face because he's a chubby guy. So I'm going to grab some gray and he has a bit of a wrinkle up here on his nose. And I'll put another little one above that. So I'm just kind of shading a bit of gray on there. I'm going to add a little black to that because it's not quite dark enough for my liking. we can see it. And we're going to do the same thing down here under his chin. And a few little wrinkles down here too. And then we'll put another bigger one down here. He's a roly-poly kind of guy. And then we can add another little one. We'll make him as chunky as we want. He can have all my pounds. All right, so we'll let that dry up there a little bit. Where else do I want to add some wrinkles? I'm going to just grab a little bit of this, and I'm going to bring this bit down here a bit. Because I didn't actually, I'm going to fix this up just a bit. And this is where we can mess around with it and play around with it. I didn't really want that to come up that far. So I'm going to cover that. We'll blend that down just a smidge. That's a little better. So see, you can play around with it and change the shape a little bit. <laughs> yes, his chinny chin chin. He's got a few chins here. All right. 
So I'm just going to let that dry and I'm going to go focus on his nose a little bit here. I'm going to grab some gray and I'm going to shade around the inside edge of his nose here. While his face is drying, we'll work on his nose a little bit. I like how he's turning out so far. I'm liking the little whimsy and the little bit of blotchy look to him. But I think he's turning out pretty cute. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of black to that gray. I just want to darken that down just a little bit. Is Miss Beth in here? Did I miss Beth? All right, so his face is getting a little bit dry there. So I'm going to go into my background pink color here and a little bit of white. And I'm going to blend a little bit of that in there too. To lighten things up in here. A little too much white there. Let's bring some pink back in. And again, just playing around with the colors, blending them in there. And this is just the background pink color and a little bit of white. And it's just giving his face a little bit of texture, a little bit of depth. And I'm kind of just dabbing it. I'm not really painting it. I'm kind of just dabbing it on there. And add a little bit of water. If it pulls, your paint sometimes will pull. So you just want to add a little bit of water in there. And we'll come in here between these little wrinkles. And as this dries, it might fade out a bit, but once we see it dry, we'll know where we want to add a little bit more um, highlights or to bring it back to the paint color. Thank you for the sprinkle, Gretchen. Yes, Donna, it will be on replay. It will always be here. It'll be in the Craft Around the Clock group and also on my business page. And I'm just going to bring some of that... Grab a bit more of that pink. I'm just going to kind of rub that in there. And I'm looking in the see, he's already starting to get a little bit of life to him, I think. What do you guys think? Starting to get a little bit of texture on his face, and he's starting to look a little more alive now instead of that flat color he had before. This is this excites me. I know I I love shading and I love um, bringing it to life. So I'm going to put a little bit of that darker pink up here, and I'll. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going to add a few little white sprigs of hairs up here on his head. So we want to just have a little bit more of that darker pink up there, so we can see our white over top of it but you can also use that darker pink like you used for his nose and just kind of bring some of that in in these little areas on his legs and like I said this is a really loose kind of painting it's not not particular we don't want to make this hard we want to make this fun and easy so and we can bring some of that darker pink a little bit here around those wrinkles a little bit. He's looking pretty cute, I gotta say. Okay. It'd be even better when we get his eyes happening and 
it'll be lovely. So I'm going to grab a little bit of black and a little bit of that gray, and I just want to define this little area here by his ear a little bit. And you're just going to keep kind of playing back and forth and sitting back and looking at it and see where you need a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra something. So, and that's basically what I do is, you know, I just play around and then I sit back and I look at it and I see, oh, that might need a little something there. And I just play back and forth. So I have to find his ears a little more. See, I have a bit too much gray there, in my opinion. So I'm just going to bring some of that pink back in here. And that makes me happier. All right. So now I'm going to grab some white, just some plain white. And I want to highlight just above these little wrinkles. Take some of that off. So I want to bring a little bit of that white in here. Checking my time. Just above those little wrinkle lines. Just to highlight them a bit so you can kind of get the illusion that he's got little wrinkles on his face. Bring some up here. And I'm, like I said, I'm just dabbing with the paint. I'm not really, um, you know, just doing a full on coverage paint. I'm just dabbing with the paint. Pretty darn cute. All right. So I think now we're going to give this a quick dry just so I can, I'm just going to turn that volume. Sorry guys, my fingers over there. They put that button in the silliest of places and I don't even know if that mute thing works with my mic or not, but hopefully it did. All right, so I'm going to work on his nose a little bit. Um, on the line drawing, there I do have a the little nostrils, but I'm just gonna draw mine in. They're kind of like little teardrops. Let's see how I did with my drawing skills. And I'll grab my little liner brush and we'll grab some black. Oh, it did work. Good. Thank you. Except that you got to see my, my big mitten in front of the camera shot. I think I'm going to write to the company and say, you need to move that button somewhere else. Just filling in his little nostrils. Once we get this painted on here, I'm going to see if they're the same size or in the right place because I just freehanded it. All righty. That's pretty good. So we have his little nostrils happen in there. So I'm going to grab a little bit of gray and a little bit of water on my brush. And I just want to put a little 
little bit of darkness in that center of his nose there. I'm going to grab a little bit of black in there. Not too much. That was a bit too much. And I'll just blend that down in there. And you can see where my, this is where I'm saying that sometimes that shiny surface will give you a little trouble. And it did pull a little bit of that paint off there. So I just dabbed some more on there. <clears throat> so I, my background kind of showed through there. So I just had to put a little dab of paint on there to cover it. So I'm now going to grab a little bit of white. Throw a few little highlights in here on his nose. How's my time? Okay, I got 15 minutes. Throw a little bit up there. And we're close to we're close to being done. Um, I just have to work a little bit on his feet. Put a little bit of hairs on his head. But he's getting there. He's getting there. Hi, Beth. I'm just dabbing a bit more white because it'll fade out as it dries. And I'm going to grab a little bit of gray, give a little bit of highlight inside his nostrils there. And I think I'll work on his eyes a little bit. I'm going to grab a little bit of black on my liner brush. And I'm just going to bring that kind of line down the side of his eye there. His eyes are pretty easy. And then I'm just going to grab a bit. Now this will make him come to life a little bit. Once I put those little glare dots in his eyes. So he can see now. I don't know if you guys can see that on your screen. Put a few little glare lines in there. Oops, a little water on there. Now we can see. <laughs> He's going to squeal, is he? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll grab my round brush again. Actually, I'm going to grab a number one round. I'm going to grab some of that white, and we're going to put a few little sprigs of hair on his head. Now, I don't know if pigs really have this, but my pig's going to have hairs on his head. So that's just how it's going to be. So I'm just going to bring a few of those down here. And that's why I added that little bit of darker pink there. It's going to have a little tuft of white hairs here. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring, I'll bring some up here. Off the top of his head. I know you can't see because my hand's in the way, but you will see in a sec. A few little sprigs of hair coming off the top of his head, just to make him a little bit cute and whimsical. Yes, he's got, he's got a little quaff. So um, I'm also going to bring some of that up into his ears. So it's all these little details that kind of make it super cute. And just give him a little bit of a little bit of fun. A little water on my brush there.
I like him a lot. He is so cute. All right, down here under his mouth, I'm going to put just, that's his nose, but there's just a little tiny little bit of one in his mouth there. So I'll just take a little bit of white and put that there. And then I'll take a bit of gray and just go under that just a bit. A little bit of black mixed into my gray. And kind of blend that under his chin a little bit or under his mouth, I guess. And then if you want to uh, go back and brighten up any of your white highlights in here, I might want to brighten up a few of my little white highlights. Oops, get a little more white on my brush. You can add a little bit more there. And you can go back and play around with these back and forth. If you get too much white on there, just bring in a little bit more pink. I think I got a bit too much white on my nose there thank you all the kind of fun thing there i go messing that little spot on his nose again I'm going to leave that spot alone from now on because it's not liking me. The fun thing about this is you don't need many colors of paint. I think I'm using a light pink, a dark pink, black, white, and gray, and that's, that's all. but I think he looks super cute. So I'm gonna just work on his feet for a couple seconds and um, before we run out of time here, hopefully we get him finished. There's a little, little divot there where his arm is too. I'm gonna grab some more pink and my gray is gone awry. All right. So let's work on his little feet. So I'm going to grab a bit of gray and a bit of black. Just to make a darker gray because we're working on that black surface. And we'll probably not be able to see his feet super great, but we'll see what we can do here with them so we can notice where his little hooves, are they hooves? All right, I'll get this one in here. I'm just pulling in a bit of gray, a bit of black. Yes, that scarecrow. We're going to be doing that soon, Leanne. That class starts on the 29th. Of August it's the 29th 30th and 31st we're gonna do that scarecrow behind me over three evenings so if anybody wants to get in on that the link is pinned here at the bottom so I'm just blending in a little bit of that black right kind of at that top edge 
where it meets his leg. And down here on that bottom side. And then I'll grab a little bit of white. Just mix that in with my gray. Just a light, lighter shade of gray there. And then we'll just add a little bit of a highlight there on that top side. Five minutes. I think we did pretty good to get this guy done. Now again, you can go back and, you know, once you're finished, you think you're finished, I would, you know, I would come back in here and, you know, spruce up around his nose a little bit. Just so we can see it a bit better. Just to crisp up that edge. And I just grabbed a bit of black and a bit of gray there. But you can just play back and forth until you're happy with how your little piglet looks. So this one will be a bonus project for my Paint Party Playground members. Um, I wanted to mention that my membership group is open right now if you want to come and join us in our group. And this will be a bonus painting that... Uh, will be offered to uh, members in the in the group. We paint three projects a month, and then we do have little bonuses every once in a while. We'll throw a bonus in there as an extra project, and this will be in the bonus section for any of my members that are watching. It will be in there for you, and the line drawing and everything will be there in the hub. So again, I'm just going back and playing a bit. Like so. And if you do want to join us in the membership group, I've put the link at the top up there with the Craft Around the Clock group link. It's up at the top of this post as well. So if you want more information, there's a link there. You can get more info on what we do in the group. And what you will get with your membership. All right. So I think he's pretty much, pretty much. All right, so what do y'all think? He's pretty cute, I know. And again, you could go back in and play. We got a couple minutes here. So you can go back in and, you know, that fence kind of wasn't totally complete there. So now you can come back in and pull in a little bit more of that white. Now that that bottom half is sort of dry, you can pull in some more of that white color just to spruce it up a little bit on these areas. And I'm just scuffing that paint on there. But I'm liking how he turned out. I totally will most likely hang this in my kitchen because I have a farmhouse theme and I think it would be cute. Um, my next one, I think I'm gonna do a Highland cow on one of these little chalkboards and uh, hang them in my kitchen. And I mean, how super cute for a farmhouse theme. I like him a lot. All right, so I'll probably do something with my frame as well. Um, not quite sure. I probably will do like a black and white distressed just to keep it with that farmhouse look do a little bit of a distress with some white and black on my frame. I don't think I'm going to leave it wood, but I most likely will paint it out. All right. So I think that is my time. I hope you enjoyed my Crapper in the Clock down on the farm segment. And we'll see all of you next time. He needs a wife with a... Yes. Such a good idea, Pam. Yes, we could do a girl, do a little girl with a bow. That would be sweet. Good idea. You always have the greatest ideas here in the group.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out all the links that I've posted everywhere, and um, we'll see you all soon. Bye now.